Hey everybody, <clears throat> let's talk automations. As you're growing your business, you always want to be looking for systems, something that you're repeating over and over again, and then figure out how can you automate that because you don't want to be doing all of the back office stuff every single time. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can automate the opt-in flow. Now, the uh, software that I'm using is Go High Level slash Funnel Gorgeous or any of those other uh, white labeled programs. So follow along as I show you how you can easily create a workflow. So let me just uh, shrink my head down here a little bit. <clears throat> Um, as of the time of this recording, uh, if you go over to the left hand side, you're inside of your all in one application. And if you've never used Go High Level, reach out to me. I've got a 14 day trial. Uh, it will simplify your life so much. But over here on the left, when you click on automations, you can create all of the uh, back end automation so easily. First little tip that I'm going to give you is create folders based on the project you're working on. So I'm going to hop into this folder I've already created. I'm just going to show you what they look like. Simplified social media. So I had an opt-in for this program and basically there was three steps. I tell people start with kind of drawing out on a napkin what you want to accomplish when someone comes into your world. So this particular one, they opted in and when they opted in, I wanted to put a tag next to their name so I know what freebie they opted in on. Then what I wanted to do was uh, this particular freebie actually gave them access to a little mini course. So I then gave, had the system automatically give them permissions based on that tag to let them inside of the course. And then the third little piece was sending them the email that gave them the login credentials. So those were the three overarching steps of this entire workflow. So what does it look like on the inside? The first one here, let me just hop into it. Uh, basically, this is what a workflow would look like inside of Go High Level or Funnel Gorgeous. So you always have to have what we call a trigger. In other words, what starts this whole process? So if we click on it, what started it was they went and opted in on this particular form. Now you could use this if somebody was purchasing something, for instance, it would just be a purchase or a two-step checkout instead of a form. But in this instance, they've opted into this form. So that's what starts the ball rolling. Within uh, Go High Level, I always assign it to a user, which is me in this instance. And the reason I do that is it actually will pull information from my account, again, to automate some things. And I'll show you in just a minute what that looks like. Then the next thing I do is I add a contact tag. And what tag do I want to add? Again, I come up with a little system to name my tags. And so here, Simplified Social Media landing page, they opted in for this, so I gave them the tag. Then the next step in the workflow is I grant them permission to get into the course, the little course, and that's called grant them an offer, the membership offer. Then the next thing I do is I fire off an email and let me just uh, kind of move down here just a little bit so you can see this bigger. So this is just a quick little, hey, thanks so much for opting in. You're going to love it. And you'll get another email with the login credentials and hit reply back. I'm just asking them basically, let's warm up our servers so they can talk to each other. Then the last thing I want you to pay attention to, because I assigned it to myself, I can pull in um, under the custom values, the user email signature. So my email signature has the unsubscribe, it has the take care and my name, all of that kind of stuff. So just a one click instead of typing all of that stuff in. 
Are you tracking with me? Is that making sense? Great. So now I'm just going to save that uh, little uh, email so you can see it. And then the last thing I do in this particular flow is I add them to the next workflow. And that workflow is giving them the login credentials. Now, technically, I wouldn't have to do that because the system would do it automatically. But I'm going to save this here and I'm going to go out to the next one so you can see that. So they opted in. Okay. Let's come. So let's go here for the login credentials. And again, you have to start with a uh, trigger. What fires this off? Now, this is basically on the back end. Whenever you give someone access to a course, the trigger would be membership new sign up. Okay, so when you click on that, which quote unquote offer or course membership are you giving them access to? It's the simplified social media. I'm going to save that trigger. And then here, uh, this email fires off. And basically, this is the email that the system will look for and it will fill it in automatically. So the URL, the email, and the password. Okay, so it's that simple. Let me come back here so I can see you face to face. So again, when you are building out all of the moving pieces of your business, look for ways that you can automate. And if you're using a software that allows you to create these awesome uh, workflows, then make sure you utilize those because all these tiny steps add up over time, right? So the more you can create systems around your business, the easier it is to be able to scale. Now, if you want more uh, tips, if you want training, if you want that support, then make sure that you join my Digital Business Academy because I am there with you every single day of the week, helping you move your business forward. All right, take care. Talk to you later.